history, humanity has crafted wonders, blending creativity with architectural prowess. From ancient marvels to contemporary feats, our ability to create has left an indelible mark. As we gaze upon the world, man-made wonders stand testament to the human spirit and artistic ingenuity. In the modern era, humans have continued to push the boundaries of engineering and design to create amazing man-made wonders around the world that are no less impressive than their ancient counterparts. From ancient wonders to modern marvels, each structure tells a unique story of human achievement. In this video, we will explore the greatest man-made wonders of the world. So make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Let's start the video. Number 40. St. Basil's Cathedral, Russia In the middle of Moscow's Red Square, St. Basil's Cathedral is a whimsical masterpiece that shows off the country's long past and creative architecture. Completed in 1561 under the watchful eye of Ivan IV, famously known as Ivan the Terrible, this candy-colored confection of a church captivates onlookers with its lively patterns, swirling stripes, and iconic onion-shaped domes that resemble delicious cupcake icing. Behind its impressive front is a carefully planned scheme with eight chapels circling a central church. The church used to be a more subdued white with gold domes, but a hundred years later it changed, adding a riot of colors that make it look completely different. The strange mix of unexpected whimsy and well-thought-out design makes St. Basil's Cathedral a sight that goes against normal expectations. It is a mark of Russia's architectural fortitude. The church was built in 1555, and its unique multicolored onion domes rise majestically. They are a mix of styles that look more like a fun fair than traditional Russian architecture. In addition to being beautiful, St. Basil's is also very important in Tatarstan's history because it represents victory in a key fight. This gives the building more meaning, turning it from a beautiful piece of architecture to a national symbol. St. Basil's Cathedral is one of the most famous sites in Russia, and both tourists and Russians come to admire its amazing beauty. This confusing cathedral will always be a lively reminder of Russia's cultural diversity and strength thanks to its long-lasting legacy of history, building, and creativity. Number 39. Chichen Itza, Mexico. Chichen Itza, an archaeological marvel nestled amidst the lush landscapes of the Yucatan Peninsula, stands as a testament to the ingenuity of ancient civilizations. Crafted by the skilled hands of the Mayans around 600 AD, this vibrant city thrived until 1221, when Mayapan claimed the mantle of the regional capital. The jewel of Chichen Itza is the awe-inspiring temple of Kukulkan, a colossal stone pyramid adorned with four stairways, symbolizing the cardinal directions and boasting 365 steps, each representing a day of the year. Immersing visitors in a celestial spectacle during the spring and fall equinoxes, the Temple of Kukulkan unveils its mathematical and astronomical prowess. As the sun moves, it casts shadows that make it look like a graceful snake is descending the pyramid. This is a tribute to the Mayan god Kukulkan, who was a feathered serpent with mythical meaning. While the Temple of Kukulkan commands attention, Chichen Itza offers a mosaic of historical wonders. The Ball Court, a place where traditional games took place, still sounds like it did in the past. The Wall of Skulls is a moving reminder of the city's rituals of sacrifice and the sacred cenote, where people used to offer their bodies as sacrifices, makes you think about the spiritual depths of this ancient city. As the heart of Chichen Itza pulsates with the echoes of a bygone era, the synergy of Mayan and Toltec influences becomes evident. Around 900 CE, during the Toltec reign, the city witnessed the construction of remarkable structures adding layers to its historical tapestry. The castle of Kukulkan emerges as the most striking pre-Hispanic structure in Mesoamerica, captivating travelers with its architectural precision and celestial choreography. Number 38. Giant Buddha of Leshen, China. A huge 70-meter tall Buddha was carved out of the bright red sandstone cliffs in the 8th century. It sits in the middle of Mount Imei, which is known as the birthplace of Chinese Buddhism. The Mount Imei scenic area is a haven of natural beauty. 
This huge Buddha is the world's biggest of its kind, and it's covered in lush forest plants that make it look even more beautiful. With its carefully crafted features, the Buddha's face radiates peace as it looks out at the meeting point of three winding rivers. Notably, the Buddha's hair is very impressive. It has over a thousand knots that are all made very carefully. Its long ears are cleverly made from wood that has been covered in mud, so they blend in perfectly with its stone face. Behind the scenes, a complex drainage system cleverly protects the huge sculpture from the damaging effects of rain, keeping its old grandeur. As you go west, the Leshen Giant Buddha, which was carved out of the side of a cliff during the height of the Tang Dynasty, becomes clear. The huge project began in 713 and took almost a hundred years to complete, with the work of thousands of skilled workers working together. This huge masterpiece is thought to be the world's biggest carved stone Buddha. It stands 233 feet tall and has huge hands with fingers that reach an amazing 11 feet each. People have written poems, sung songs, and told stories about the Leshen Giant Buddha that will live on forever. Its huge shape is etched into the history of ancient Chinese art. Number 37. The Golden Gate Bridge, USA. The Golden Gate Bridge, an engineering marvel, suspended over the captivating waters of the Golden Gate Strait, seamlessly connects San Francisco and Marin County, leaving an indelible mark on the world as an iconic symbol of California. Constructed in a mere four years, the bridge's completion in 1937 marked an era, boasting the title of the world's longest suspension bridge span. Its striking towers and graceful cables are not only a testament to human ingenuity, but also a source of inspiration for adventurers seeking a memorable journey. In 1933, the bridge faced a pivotal moment in its history as the distinctive international orange color was introduced. A bold choice championed by consulting architect Irving Morrow, the hue chosen for its visibility through the notorious Bay Area fog transformed the Golden Gate Bridge into a vibrant beacon that defied convention. Morrow eloquently argued, the Golden Gate Bridge is one of the greatest monuments of all time, emphasizing the need for a color as unique as its unprecedented size and scale. Beyond its architectural prowess, the Golden Gate Bridge invites wanderers to embark on an unforgettable 1.7-mile journey on foot. As you traverse this magnificent structure, the city skyline, Alcatraz Island, and the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean unfold before your eyes creating a visual symphony that captures the essence of San Francisco. This bridge, more than a physical structure, is a testament to human ambition and engineering brilliance, inviting all to partake in the magic of its history and the allure of its panoramic vistas. Number 36. Borobudur, Indonesia. Crafted meticulously from an astounding 10 million volcanic stone pieces, Borobudur stands as an architectural marvel in Indonesia, claiming its title as the largest Buddhist temple globally. With its roots tracing back to the 9th century, this monumental structure experienced a period of neglect until its rediscovery in the 1800s. Since then, dedicated efforts have been invested in its restoration, revealing its timeless beauty to the world once more, with a special allure that captivates visitors particularly at the break of dawn. Comprising six square platforms crowned by three circular levels, Borobudur unfolds a symbolic journey to enlightenment. The path goes up from the ground and through the three levels of Buddhist cosmology. It goes from the world of forms to the world of formlessness. With more than 2,000 reliefs and 500 Buddha figurines, the walls of the temple are a work of art. Each intricately carved piece is a deep example of a different Buddhist philosophy making the whole thing an experience that goes beyond time and space. Borobudur's grandeur extends beyond its sheer size, offering a profound connection to spiritual teachings through its intricate details. Millions of blocks of volcanic stone that constitute this architectural wonder stand not just as a testament to ancient craftsmanship, but also as a living testament to the enduring legacy of Buddhism in the heart of Indonesia. <music> Number 35. Mont Saint-Michel, France. Perched beautifully off the northern shores of Normandy, 
Mont St. Michael stands as a testament to medieval ingenuity and awe-inspiring beauty. Its silhouette, when observed from a distance, is nothing short of celestial, as the abbey seems to hover above ethereal mist and clouds. This architectural marvel crowns a small, precipitous outcrop on a diminutive island, creating a mesmerizing vista that has captivated hearts throughout the ages. The magic of Mont St. Michael isn't confined to its proximity, rather it unveils itself in a dance with the tides. When the sea asserts its dominance during high tide, the island is submerged, rendering the abbey an island unto itself. Conversely, at low tide, a sandy pathway emerges, unveiling a historical journey that beckons explorers to traverse the inns beneath the looming spires. When it was built in the mysterious Middle Ages, Mont St. Michael gave off an air of both danger and mystery that still enchants tourists today. The monastery was able to withstand the unstable conditions of its location thanks to its exceptional architecture. As the spires of the abbey reach into the sky, Mont St. Michael asks everyone to join a journey that goes beyond time and imagination. Number 34. Petra, Jordan. The Rose City of Petra is an ancient desert town that was carved out of pink sandstone cliffs by nomads thousands of years ago. Located in Jordan, tucked between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea, it's hard to believe the city was once filled with green gardens, palatial houses, and bustling markets. Beyond its renowned two-story treasury, a symbol of Petra's opulence, lies a city that once served as the capital of the Nabatean Empire, a powerful Arab monarchy that commanded the Spice Road. Petra's sculpted rock faces bear witness to the Nabataeans' affluence, acting as silent storytellers of their role in the ancient caravan trade. The city, strategically carved into the side of the Wadamuza Canyon, became a pivotal intersection for the spice and silk routes connecting distant lands from China and India to Egypt, Greece, and Rome. al Kazna, a sandstone marvel that dwarfs its surroundings, stands as the pinnacle of Petra's architectural brilliance. Beyond its intricate facade lies a royal tomb, reminiscent of an Indiana Jones adventure, adding an extra layer of mystique to this ancient marvel. Petra is still Jordan's most treasured site, and tourists are drawn into a world in the middle of the desert where history, art, and trade all come together. Number 33. Ajanta and Ellora Caves, India. Located 101 kilometers from Aurangabad in Maharashtra, India, the Ajanta and Ellora Caves are extraordinary wonders. Unlike most caves, these huge churches and monasteries were carved by hand into the side of mountains without any support for the roof. The huge columns inside are only there for looks. Buddhist monks looking for peats were drawn to Ajana's quiet and remote valley. The caves were carved in two phases, with the earliest dating back to 300 BC and the second group created between 400 and 680. The sheer symmetry and vastness of the cave interiors are mind-boggling. Every column, sculpture, and part were intricately carved out of the mountain using basic tools. There are brightly colored paintings on the cave walls that show scenes from the life of the first Buddha, the Tataka tales, mythology, and everyday life. This piece of art is a testament to the amazing skills of ancient artists. Agenda was left empty in the 8th century when Buddhism started to fade. It stayed hidden and safe in the bush until it was found by a British army officer hunting tigers in 1819. This random find led to the discovery of a stunning site that continues to amaze tourists with its historical and artistic value, giving them a glimpse into India's rich cultural history. Number 32. Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany Neuschwanstein Castle. A testament to the visionary dreams of Bavaria's mad king Ludwig U stands as the epitome of a fairy tale fortress. This architectural masterpiece, characterized by soaring spires and a Romanesque revival style, served as the muse for Walt Disney's iconic Sleeping Beauty castle. Ludwig, often hailed as the fairy tale king, drew inspiration from the breathtaking mountain scenery of South Bavaria, aspiring to craft a romantic stronghold reminiscent of ancient poetry. Construction of the castle commenced in 1869, a monumental undertaking that faced challenges due to its lofty location. 
Unfortunately, Ludwig's untimely death in 1886, the very year of Neuschwanstein's completion, prevented him from ever inhabiting his fantastical creation. Ludwig's story had a sad ending, but the castle is still one of the most beautiful places in the world. It looks like something out of a fairy tale. The beautiful scenery around Neuschwanstein makes this building masterpiece even more appealing. The castle is surrounded by beautiful mountains and lakes that reflect the light. This makes the castle even more charming. When the castle was finished in 1892, it became a cultural icon that drew people from all over the world to see how well the natural beauty and architectural splendor work together. In the middle of Bavaria, Neuschwanstein Castle is a timeless symbol of love and fantasy. It will always be linked to the dreams of a king and the magic of Disney. Number 31. Mount Rushmore, USA. Located in the Black Hills of South Dakota, Mount Rushmore is a proud reminder of the American past that will last forever in the strong embrace of granite. The majestic faces of Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln stare out at the landscape with steely determination. They represent the spirit of a country that has been built over time. This famous national monument not only shows how these four presidents led with vision, but it also stands as a powerful reminder of how creative and strong Americans are. Beyond the huge sculptures, the tourist center leads to a treasure trove of historical items that give a vivid picture of the United States' complex history. Nature trails, weaving through the undulating Black Hills, beckon enthusiasts to discover the untamed beauty surrounding this hallowed site. The mountain, originally named the Six Grandfathers by the Lakota Sioux, holds cultural significance for Native American tribes in the region. In the 1980s, a resolution was reached to acknowledge their perspective, leading to the establishment of the Crazy Horse Memorial not far from Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore entices with a combination of natural beauty, cultural riches, and patriotic resonance a trip where the past meets the present in a spectacular celebration of American heritage. Number 30. Stonehenge, England. In the heart of Wiltshire, England, stands the enigmatic Stonehenge, a prehistoric marvel that continues to captivate the imagination. This mysterious structure was built during the Neolithic Age, between 300 BC and 2000 BC. It is still one of the best examples of how skilled old engineers were. Stonehenge is made up of a circle of huge stones, some of which weigh up to 50 tons. Its purpose is unknown, but it is thought to be deeply spiritual. The site, situated 3.2 kilometers west of Amesbury and 13 kilometers north of Salisbury, is a key component of the dense complex of Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments in England. Beyond its ceremonial significance, Stonehenge serves as an astronomical masterpiece, aligned with the stars to precision. Witness the sun's majestic ascent directly above the heel stone during the summer solstice, a celestial dance that has intrigued observers for centuries. The huge stones, which were all mined and moved in very old ways, have stood the test of time. Learn more about its secrets by exploring it virtually. The skyscape gives you a live link to the heavenly lines that help the builders. Take a virtual tour to learn more about this archaeological wonder and see the advanced technology and intricate features that went into making it. As a piece of history, Stonehenge is also a timeless mystery. Its circular shape begs modern minds to figure out what it means and to think about the spiritual and astronomical meanings woven into its old stones. Number 29. The Underground Cities of Cappadocia, Turkey Beneath the charming villages of Cappadocia, Turkey, lie hidden marvels. Entire underground cities that look like a giant snakes and ladders game on a map. These cities plunge deep into the earth, with some having an astonishing 15 to 20 levels. Originally believed to be constructed by Christians, seeking refuge from persecution. These subterranean spaces later served as safe havens during Arab invasions in the 6th and 7th centuries. Archaeologists have found signs of buildings and baptismal pools, which suggests that the Romans and Byzantines lived there. The underground towns had many uses. They had places to make wine, homes for animals, bedrooms, many kitchens, and even air shafts. Millstone doors that were very big and weighed several tons were strong walls that could only be opened from the inside, keeping out attackers. Historians think that these underground homes weren't fixed homes. 
but rather safe places for farmers and craftsmen to go when they felt threatened. As there's much yet to be unearthed and understood about these seas, they remain an enigmatic wonder. Cappadocia's underground towns are still a mystery, making them one of the most interesting man-made wonders in the world. Number 28. Parthenon, Greece. The Acropolis of Athens is an iconic testament to ancient Greek architecture, with its centerpiece being the renowned Parthenon. A visit to Athens would be incomplete without immersing oneself in the historical significance of this grand temple, much like touring the Louvre Museum without beholding the enigmatic Mona Lisa. Originating from a vision in 447 BC, the construction of the Parthenon unfolded, replacing a predecessor raised by the Persians. By 432 BC, the masterpiece was complete, created to enshrine the magnificent figure of Athena Parthenos, which was crafted from an extravagant mixture of ivory, silver, and gold. The Parthenon met the sad fate of being pillaged by a Roman emperor in the 5th century. Spirited away to Constantinople, the statue ultimately met its demise. During its history, the Parthenon evolved into more than just a temple. It became a fortification, a mosque, and a church and it even functioned as a powder store under the authority of several emperors. The sacred halls of this architectural marvel are filled with the reverberations of great Greek thinkers such as Socrates and Plato, which enriches the legacy of this architectural marvel's illustrious past. Athens is a city that is defined by its rich historical tapestry, and the Parthenon, which is located on top of the Acropolis, invites tourists to explore this legacy. Number 27. The Tower of Pisa, Italy. The Tower of Pisa, a standalone bell tower in the Italian city of Pisa, is renowned for its distinct lean, a result of an unstable foundation dating back to its construction in the 12th century. As more time passed, the tilt got more noticeable, and by the 20th century, the tower was at risk of falling due to the tilt. The tilt was effectively reduced by approximately 16 inches, which is equivalent to 40 centimeters, thanks to the efforts of a committed group of engineers and architects who began a substantial repair project in the year 1990. Currently, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is considered to be one of the most popular tourist destinations in Italy, drawing in millions of people each year. The tower's unique angle adds to its charm, and tourists can ascend its 294 steps to reach the top, treating themselves to breathtaking views of Pisa and the picturesque countryside that surrounds it. Beyond its architectural quirk, the Tower of Pisa holds a rich history and cultural significance. It stands as a symbol of human ingenuity and determination, overcoming challenges to preserve this iconic structure. The restoration efforts not only stabilized the tower, but also ensured its continued presence as a global landmark. Number 26. Church of Savior on Blood, Russia. In St. Petersburg, Russia, there's an amazing structure known as the Church of the Savior on Blood. In 1881, the Russian Emperor Alexander II was killed there, which is where the name of the place comes from. As a memorial to the Tsar Martyr, people from all over Russia gave money to help build the church. People think this is one of the most stunning structures in St. Petersburg, if not the whole country. It sits by the Grabojnov Canal. It took 24 years to build and was finally opened in 1907. Some of the most famous architects from the late 1800s were among the contestants who built this one-of-a-kind church. One interesting thing about it is that it was one of the city's first buildings that was powered only by electricity. It had about 1,700 light bulbs inside. There were delays in the building process, especially during the 10-year mural phase. But when it was finished, the Church of the Savior on Blood's beautiful design and cutting-edge technology blew everyone away. Today, people can marvel at the intricate details, like the stunning mosaics, big chandeliers plated in gold, stained glass windows, and paintings. There is one of the biggest mosaic shows in Europe at the cathedral. It is a must-see for anyone interested in history and construction. Number 25. The Terracotta Warriors, China. In 1974, a farmer was digging a well in the country, about an hour's drive from Sinan. He hit a piece of hard clay. He found the head of a terracotta fighter that had been painted by hand. He didn't know it, 
but he had found the exact spot where an army of terracotta warriors had been buried for almost 2,000 years. Emperor Qin began building his tomb in 206 BC, and it would grow as big as a huge underground city, a colonner from his tomb. He told people to make an army of 8,000 life-sized terracotta warriors, and then bury them standing in a straight line. There are no two alike. The different ethnic groups that served in Qin's army can be seen in their faces and headdresses. All the figures were painted by hand with bright colors that have sadly faded since they were found and put out in the light. Archaeologists think they have found the whole site, but they have only restored a thousand fighters, horses, and carriages so far. As far as the eye can see, the Terracotta Army stands in perfect order, leaving no words to be spoken. <laughs>
and stand tall on Easter Island, which is in the Polynesian area of Chela, and is one of the most remote places on Earth. Statues like these were crafted by the Rapa Nui people between the years 1250 AD and 1500 CE. Paro, the largest of them all, stood at a height of almost 10 meters and weighed an incredible 75 tons. They were powerful symbols. Not only did they represent the ancestors who had passed away, but they also represented authority and power, particularly that of previous chiefs. European visitors encountered these statues that had been there for a long time, though many of them had been destroyed by time and fighting between clans. Even so, about 50 Moa have been carefully put back together on Easter Island, and the rest are in museums around the world. The Moli are important for more than just their size. They represent the rich cultural and historical heritage of the Rapa Nui people. They show off their skills, beliefs, and the way that the living and the dead are linked. As silent sentinels of Easter Island's past, the Mole continue to intrigue and inspire, standing as enduring testaments to a bygone era. Number 20. Angkor Wat, Cambodia Angkor Wat in Cambodia is one of the most impressive holy structures in the world. This massive temple, famous for its Khmer art, is for the Hindu god Vishnu and takes up 400 square meters of space. It's amazing how the three levels are built together with all the intricate passageways and stairs. Built in the second half of the 12th century, this amazing structure was left empty 300 years later. Europeans first learned about this amazing religious site in the middle of the 19th century. Since then, it has captivated countless tourists and explorers every year. Angkor Wat is more interesting than just its size. It also hides secrets about how it was built. The stones used to build the temple are so smooth that they look like polished marble, and no glue was used in the building process. Amazingly, this amazing piece of architecture has been around for over 800 years, featuring more than a thousand distinct bas reliefs that portray literary scenes, mythical figures, and battles. The temple's carved walls are a sight to witness. The fact that this huge temple was built in just over 30 years makes it even more special. New studies have also found an interesting link between the construction of the temple and different astronomical events. Its long past and amazing architecture make Angkor Wat a testament to the creativity and skill of the people who built it. Number 19. Alhambra Castle, Spain The Alhambra Castle occupies a unique position among the must-see destinations in Spain. Established atop all Sabica Hill, 700 meters above sea level, this one-of-a-kind citadel boasts a lengthy history that dates back to the 13th century. Its construction was initiated by Muhammad I, the Moorish ruler, who transformed it into a fortress that grew over centuries as exquisite gardens and new structures were added annually. The castle, which is enclosed by ramparts measuring approximately 2,000 meters in length, features a splendid mosque, watchtowers, palaces, pavilions, and lodging for more than 2,000 individuals. Once a regal residence, the structure was exposed to the peril of ruin and bore witness to numerous battles. Despite undergoing numerous reconstructions, the Alhambra has maintained its architectural magnificence and distinctiveness. Presently, guests have the opportunity to meander through picturesque gardens that cover an area of 140,000 square meters, admire ancient fountains and ponds, and traverse enchanting courtyards. The Alhambra is a living piece of history and a testament to Spain's enduring grandeur. It is not merely a castle. It stands as one of the country's most enchanting places, where the past comes alive in every stone and garden, inviting guests to immerse themselves in the captivating story of this remarkable fortress. Number 18. Nia Museum Bunyard, USA. Las Vegas is a unique and important city in the world. It is known for having a lively atmosphere. One interesting place to visit is the Nian Museum, which is one of a kind and collects old Nian signs from casinos and hotels. These signs are used to make the city look better, but they are either broken or no longer relevant. These signs are fixed up at the Nian Museum Bunyard, which opened in 1996 so that people can enjoy their bright lights at night. The museum is happy to have a collection of about 150 old neon signs. It's not just a collection, though. The team designs parks and streets and cities. 
a sign from the Green Shack Casino in 1958 is one of the features. It is known as the world's biggest neon sign. It has more than 11,000 light bulbs and is 66 meters long and 8 meters tall. This open-air museum is a great place to go for people who like to do new and different things. It has old neon signs and plates that used to be on the famous hotels, casinos, and bars in Las Vegas in the 20th century, like the famous Moulin Rouge Theater. Even though the museum is most interesting at night when the lights are on, you can also visit during the day. Going to the Neon Museum is a fun and interesting way to learn about Las Vegas' bright and flashy past. Number 17. Taj Mahal, India the Taj Mahal in Agra, India is an amazing and famous piece of architecture that is known all over the world. This shows how grand and hardworking the building process was. It took 21 years to build 20,000 workers and 1,000 elephants to finish and was completed in 1653. It has a mausoleum and a mosque. The story of how it was made is interesting, with both sad and happy events. It was built by Shah Jahan, a Mughal ruler as a memorial to his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who died while giving birth to their 14th child. For the project, Shah Jahan hired the best engineers, builders, and stone carvers from Turkey, Persia, Iran, and India. The walls of the Taj Mahal are covered in valuable stones, which adds to its beauty. The rare marble finish has looked beautiful for more than 300 years. The mausoleum park is interesting because it has large pools that mirror the whole building at a certain angle. As you look around the mosque, you'll see beautiful decorations like elaborate mosaic walls, groups of precious and semi-precious stones, and beautiful marble designs. Some of the mausoleum's silver doors have been replaced with copper doors over the years, and some of the gold and silver decorations have been taken away. However, the attraction's charm has not changed. Even though it has been changed, the Taj Mahal still attracts millions of tourists every year, including many Indian citizens. People are amazed by its white marble facade and detailed details, especially at sunrise or sunset. It's not enough to say that the Taj Mahal is mesmerizing. Seeing it in person is even more magical than seeing it in pictures and videos. This makes it an essential stop for anyone who wants to experience the beauty of history and love. Number 16. Karnak Temple, Egypt the Karnak religious complex in Luxor, Egypt, the ancient world's largest at 100 hectares, was once known as Ipidaxit, meaning the most select of places. A crucial archaeological site after the pyramids, Karnak consists of four precincts. The precinct of Amun-Ra, precinct of Mut, precinct of Montu, and the temple of Amenhotep, forming part of Thebes, the capital during the Middle and New Kingdoms. Dedicated to the god Amun, Karnak features notable elements, such as an avenue of ram-headed sphinxes, an unfinished first pylon with a statue of Ramesses II, and the remarkable hypostyle hall. This hall, initiated by Amenhotep III and completed by Ramesses II, boasts 134 columns adorned with mythological reliefs and battle scenes. With a history from the 12th dynasty, Karnak's construction evolved over 900 years, incorporating contributions from various pharaohs, Briefly abandoned during Akhenaten's rule, it regained prominence after his death. Despite the decline in the Hellenistic and Roman periods, Karnak endured until the Christian era, when Constantine ordered the closure of Paden temples in 346 AD. It fell into disuse until its 16th century rediscovery. Today, Karnak is a testament to Egypt's ancient splendor, drawing visitors and archaeologists to unravel its mysteries. Open from 6.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., Karnak offers guided tours in multiple languages, providing a captivating glimpse into Egypt's extraordinary past. Admission costs LE20 for foreigners and LE10 for foreign students. Number 15. Duomo di Milano, Italy. Duomo di Milano is another name for the Milan Cathedral. It is a famous building right in the middle of that historic area. This building is a great example of a style of construction called flamboyant Gothic. Building this church began in 1386 and didn't end until the 19th century. Think about that. This cathedral is the fifth largest in the world. 
The many peaks, sculptures, and towers that make it look so great make it very special. It was made out of white marble. Author Simone de Orsonigo, who is from Italy, came up with the idea first, but experts from Germany and France helped build it. The cathedrals outside and inside look so beautiful because so many skilled people from Europe worked on them for hundreds of years. Inside, there are about 3,400 figures. The most important is a golden statue of Madonna, who is thought to protect Milan. It is noteworthy that this cathedral possesses the capacity to accommodate a staggering 40,000 individuals. Also, guess what? An exceptionally towering spire stands at a height of 106.5 meters. From the roof, you can see the old streets of Milan in a great way. There are also some really beautiful paintings on the walls and roof. Some of them were made by the famous artist Simone da Orsenigo. The Cathedral of Milan is a real gem in the city. Number 14. Sydney Opera House, Australia. Located on the shores of Sydney Harbour, the Sydney Opera House is a masterpiece of 20th century architecture that was the brainchild of the visionary builder Jorn Utzon. Its iconic design, inspired by the billowing sails of a colossal ship, graces the skyline, an enduring symbol of Australia's cultural prowess. Beyond its aesthetic allure, the Opera House has become a pulsating hub of artistic expression, hosting a staggering array of over 1,500 performances annually across its various venues. The late 1950s saw the genesis of this architectural masterpiece, and its grand unveiling in 1973 marked a milestone in the convergence of modernity and emotional resonance. The vaulted shells, a distinctive feature, erupt from the harbor's edge, an embodiment of both contemporary ingenuity and the raw power of the performing arts. Enveloped by the enchanting panorama of Sydney Harbour and the verdant embrace of the Royal Botanic Gardens, the Opera House transcends mere function, standing as a living canvas for human creativity. Adorning the roofs of the iconic shells are 1,056,006 bespoke Sydney tiles, crafted from a blend of clay and crushed stone, each telling a silent tale of meticulous craftsmanship. Recognized by UNESCO as a paragon of human ingenuity, the Opera House is not just a venue, it is a living legacy, harmonizing with the rhythmic cadence of artistic expression against the backdrop of Australia's most breathtaking landscapes. Number 13. Burj Khalifa, United Arab Emirates. The Burj Khalifa, situated in Dubai, is an impressive structure that towers over azure waters and golden dunes. It's hard to believe because it goes against stories from the past about how the land was driven by the rhythm of the desert and nomads who moved around. Now, it boasts a city that seems like a mirage, and at its center is the Burj Khalifa, reaching almost to the heavens. Sculpted by the forward-thinking Adrian Smith, each component of this enormous edifice narrates a distinct narrative. The design of the structure is indicative of the harmonious patterns found in Islamic art, while the environs bear a resemblance to a serene cemetery adorned with arid flowers. But what truly captivates is the soul of the tower. Inside its walls, luxury knows no bounds, with the Armani Hotel offering opulence beyond imagination. On the 122nd floor, there's an atmospheric restaurant where dining feels divine. The observation deck provides views that make you feel like you're floating among the stars. As night falls, the Burj Khalifa transforms into a luminous beacon, with lights dancing in a mesmerizing ballet that casts a spellbinding glow across the city. This is especially magical on New Year's Eve, making the Burj Khalifa the heart of a celebration that captures the world's imagination. Number 12. Machu Picchu, Peru. The ancient wonder of Machu Picchu is high in the mountains of Peru, 2,450 meters above sea level. It is such an amazing place that it was named the new wonder of the world in 2007. The mysterious city's founding date is still a mystery, which makes its already interesting past even more mysterious. The most mysterious thing about Machu Picchu is what happened in 1532, when the busy city was all but empty. Scientists have been trying to figure out why people left their homes and where they went for more than 100 years. The answers are still elusive, despite their best efforts. Up to 1,000, 
200 people used to live at the site, which has about 200 well-preserved buildings like homes, warehouses, and church buildings. The well-organized layout and beautiful buildings of Machu Picchu are what make it so interesting. Some stone structures are so carefully made that even current experts don't understand how they were made. But the site now has to deal with a new problem. It's very popular. The growing number of tourists who want to explore Machu Picchu's mysteries is now a threat to its protection. To fix this problem, strict rules have been put in place that only allow 2,500 visitors per day. This is to protect this unique landmark and make sure it stays around. Number 11. Alcatraz Museum, USA There is a museum in the United States called Alcatraz Island that is very different from other museums. This museum takes you to a beautiful island in the San Francisco Bay instead of the usual dimly lit rooms and strange exhibits. Many people came here during the gold rush in the middle of the 19th century. A fort and a tower were needed to control the flood. They picked a small island with many birds called Pelican Island. Before it was taken down, the first lighthouse stood for more than 50 years. In 1909, they chose to build a new defense jail and an automatic lighthouse. After some time, a federal prison for very dangerous criminals was built. People knew this jail had strict rules because no one got out for 29 years. After it shut down in 1963, Alcatraz Island was a mess until 1971. It was meant to be a government monument at first, but it turned into an outdoor museum instead. Over a million people visit this one-of-a-kind museum every year to walk through the grounds of one of the world's oldest and most famous jails. Number 10. Teotihuacan, Mexico Teotihuacan is the most popular historical site in Mexico. It is 30 miles northeast of Mexico City. It was first named by the Aztecs, and its meaning, place of the gods, or place where one becomes a god, shows how important it is. The Avenue of the Dead, which cuts the city in half, the huge 215x215 um, Pyramid of the Sun, and the Pyramid of the Moon, which is dedicated to Chalchitliku, the goddess of water and the moon, are some of the most important buildings in the city. The Feathered Serpent Pyramid is a shrine to the important Mesoamerican god Quetzalcoatl. It is located in the Ciudadela, which is both a religious and government center. Teotihuacan may have been built by people from many different ethnic groups, such as the Otomi, Totonac, Nahua, Zapotec, Mixtec, and Maya. The city was built in 200 BC and was at its peak between 150 and 450 AD, with 150,000 people living there and having a big impact on Mesoamerican buildings. In the 7th and 8th centuries, Teotihuacan fell apart because of rebellions within the city and weather-related disasters that hurt agriculture, which made the ruling class weaker. Later, the Aztecs built their new city around Teotihuacan because they thought it was important. Despite being forgotten during the colonial period, excavations in the 20th century brought it back to people's attention, making Teotihuacan Mexico's biggest and most famous pre-Columbian complex and a fascinating part of Mesoamerican history. Number 9. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, Abu Dhabi One of the biggest mosques in the world is in Abu Dhabi. It is named after Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nanyan, who was the first president of the UAE. The mosque has a huge size of 5,627 square meters and can hold up to 40,000 people at once. It opened in 2007. The beautiful form and many features of this mosque make it stand out. One interesting thing about the mosque is the huge carpet that covers the whole space. It was made by over 1,200 people and weighs an amazing 47 tons. There are also seven big chandeliers in the mosque. Each one has a 10-meter diameter and is decorated with gold leaf and Swarovski crystals. People from all over the world help build and plan this beautiful mosque. The architects were from the US, the marble came from China and Italy, and the fine trim was made in Austria and Germany. One unique thing about the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is that anyone can come for free. People are allowed to walk through its halls, enjoy the cool air on hot days, and be amazed by the beautiful decorations. At night, when the entrance and rooms are lit up with artistic lights, it's an especially beautiful time to visit. Overall, 
The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is a wonderful place where everyone can enjoy its beauty and cultural importance for free. Number 8. Camera Obscura and World of Illusions, United Kingdom. In Edinburgh, the Camera Obscura and World of Illusions is a wonderful museum where you can see real magic. You can interact with a variety of vibrant, moving, and optical illusions in this entertaining location. A mirror maze that simulates an internal compass is one of the attractions. There's also a tube with swirling colors that only the toughest people who are sure they can keep their balance go into. People who enter the mysterious rooms see strange images. For example, in one room, someone changes into a giant and another person into a midget. These fun things are only a small part of what this one-of-a-kind museum has to offer. A beautiful view can be seen from the roof of the museum, which has six floors. It was first opened in 1835 and was on one of the most beautiful streets in the old town. The collection has grown and been updated over the years, but some of the shows have stayed the same for more than 150 years. The museum recently added old pictures of Edinburgh that show its landmarks and tourist draws. Don't forget that this amazing museum shows us that the world is full of lies if you plan to go there. It's a location where you may have a lot of fun discovering the unexpected and marveling at the power of optical illusions. Number 7. The Hagia Sophia, Turkey. For nearly a millennium, the Hagia Sophia stood as a monumental testament to the ebb and flow of civilizations in Istanbul, formerly Constantinople. Constructed in 537 AD as an Eastern Orthodox cathedral, its architectural grandeur embodied the essence of Byzantine artistry. The resplendent dome, an architectural marvel, has gracefully presided over the cityscape for 1,500 years, witnessing the rise and fall of empires. Transformed into an Ottoman mosque in 1453 by Mehmet II, the Hagia Sophia underwent a series of metamorphoses, reflecting the dynamic history of the region. Ataturk, in a moment of historical recalibration, deconsecrated the mosque in a bid to secularize Turkey. In 1935, the Hagia Sophia emerged as a symbol of inclusivity, embracing its diverse heritage as it opened its doors as a museum for people of all faiths. Cruising the Bosporus with Princess Cruises offers a unique vantage point, allowing travelers to appreciate the Hagia Sophia's silhouette dominating the skyline. Beyond its colossal dome, the Hagia Sophia houses captivating murals and artifacts weaving a narrative that threads through Istanbul's rich tapestry of history. Renowned not only for its architectural prowess, but also for the intricate mosaics adorning its walls, the Hagia Sophia stands as a paragon of Byzantine art. These mosaics, considered among the finest examples of their kind, narrate stories of a bygone era with unparalleled artistic finesse. As a living testament to adaptability and resilience, the Hagia Sophia continues to captivate visitors inviting them to unravel the layers of history within its hallowed walls. Number 6. The Forbidden City, China The Forbidden City, also known as the Palace Museum, stands as the largest and best-preserved imperial palace in China. Located north of Tiananmen Square in Beijing, it served as the official residence for 24 Chinese emperors, from the mid-Ming Dynasty to the Qing Dynasty's end. Spanning 74 hectares, surrounded by a 6-meter-deep moat and boasting 980 buildings with 8707 rooms, the Forbidden City is a colossal rectangular complex. Its outer court, hosting ceremonial events, contrasts with the inner court, the residence of the emperor and imperial family. The Hall of Supreme Harmony, the largest wooden structure in China, was the epicenter of imperial power. Symbolism imbues every aspect from architectural elements to color choices, reflecting Chinese cosmology and millennia of culture. Initiated in 1406, the palace's 15-year construction utilized Fibijanan wood and marble blocks. Over centuries, it weathered rebellions, Manchu rule, and foreign occupation, eventually becoming a museum in 1924. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987, the Forbidden City remains a poignant symbol of Imperial China and a testament to preservation efforts, albeit facing controversies like the inclusion of commercial enterprises. Today, it stands as a captivating embodiment of China's rich history. Number 5. 
Colosseum Italy. The Colosseum of Rome stands as the largest and most renowned amphitheater globally, recognized also as the Flavian Amphitheater. Its construction commenced in 72 AD under the auspices of Roman Emperor Vespasian from the esteemed Flavian dynasty, reaching completion in 80 AD, courtesy of the son Titus. Boasting an expansive scale, the Colosseum encompasses 80 entrances, facilitating the ingress of up to 50,000 spectators. It was this magnificent structure that served as the focal point for a variety of events that took place in ancient times. These events included gladiatorial fights and exciting clashes between people and wild animals. The inaugural games witnessed the demise of over 9,000 animals, embodying the brutal spectacles held within. To shield spectators from the elements, ingenious sails known as Valerium adorned the upper reaches of the attic, providing respite from both rain and the scorching sun. The Colosseum emerges not only as a testament to architectural prowess, but also as an iconic symbol of imperial Rome. Its enduring legacy echoes through the annals of history, encapsulating the cultural and visceral essence of a bygone era. Number 4. Eiffel Tower, France The Eiffel Tower, a famous attraction in Paris, is something almost everyone knows about. It was named after Gustave Eiffel, the architect who designed it. Built for the 1889 World Expo, it was supposed to be temporary, but it stayed because people loved it. With a height of 324 meters, it's not only a beautiful sight, but also one of the most popular paid attractions in the world, with over 7 million people each year. The tower used to be just an entrance arch, but now it's a lot more than that. It's a practical marvel, housing TV antennas, radio equipment, cell towers, and even a weather station that monitors radiation and air pollution in the city. The building took a long time and cost a lot of money, but it was easily paid for in less than two years. Tourists can visit the tower for a fair price. They can ride old lifts to the top and enjoy views of the city from special spots. On the ground floor, they can check out the famous Restaurant 58 Tour Eiffel and some cool gift shops. More than a mere historical landmark, it serves as a vibrant center of activity, cherished by a vast international audience. Number 3. Christ the Redeemer, Brazil As one of the seven new wonders of the world, the Christ the Redeemer monument holds a special place as Brazil's most important national symbol. This huge figure made of concrete is 38 meters tall and sits on top of Rio de Janeiro's Corcovado Mountain. It was first thought of to be built in 1921, just before Brazil's 100th anniversary of independence. Rio's leaders quickly ordered it to be built. By 1931, Brazil was proud to show off its new national sign, the statue which is at the highest point of the city and is mostly made of concrete, often attracts lightning during storms. Because of this, the makers were smart to keep a piece of the original stone in case it needed to be restored in the future. One of the statue's most interesting features is its unique lighting system, which draws a lot of people to see it shine at night. A less well-known fact is that the statue's pedestal is home to the Nasa Aparecida Church, which is open to the public during the landmark's hours of operation. To get to this famous statue, People have to take an electric train up and then climb the famous Caracol Stairs, which have 220 steps. People who are making the long trip to see the famous Christ the Redeemer statue in all its glory can also enjoy a spiritual and cultural experience in the chapel inside the pedestal. Number 2. Great Pyramid of Giza, Egypt The pyramids stand as incredible examples of human creativity, and the Great Pyramid of Giza in particular, showcases ancient architectural brilliance. Ordered by Pharaoh Khufu, it took shape from 2589 BC to 2504 BC and remains the world's oldest and largest pyramid, reaching a towering height of 146 meters. Crafted from limestone bricks, some weighing a whopping 50 tons, its construction is awe-inspiring. One fascinating aspect is the pyramid's faces curving to match Earth's radius adding a mysterious touch to its design. Inside, three known chambers exist. The chambers of kings and queens, along an unfinished chamber. What's intriguing is the pyramid's ability to maintain a steady temperature throughout its many rooms. The structure is indeed a marvel of the ancient world, 
boasting not only its massive size and architectural precision, but also a subtle connection to the Earth's geometry. The Great Pyramid continues to captivate us with its enigmatic design, offering a glimpse into the remarkable achievements of ancient civilizations. Number 1. Great Wall of China Did you know that the Great Wall of China is the world's longest construction ever made by humans? It was constructed by King Qin Shai Huang 2,000 years ago and spans an impressive 8851 kilometers. The wall is the only structure on Earth that you can see from the moon. It is made of stones, bricks, and wood. It has the unfortunate distinction of being the longest cemetery in the world, as over one million individuals perished during its construction. It's not a surprise that the Great Wall of China is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. An ancient Chinese proverb claims that one cannot be a hero unless they've set foot on the Great Wall. Few people can walk the whole thing, but parts of it that are well-preserved can be seen in great places like Ningxia and Gansu. People who live close to Beijing like to visit the famous Battling Pass. The Great Wall not only draws tourists from around the world, but it's also a dream for history and architecture buffs who want to learn about how it was built and rebuilt over the ages. Tours that leave from Beijing can take you to different parts. Mu Xinyu is the best restored area, and battling is historically important. The Jin Chanling to Simitai hiking route offers an exhilarating three-hour trek through this historic fortification. The Great Wall of China stands as an enduring symbol of human determination and craftsmanship, inviting visitors to marvel at its grandeur. As our exploration of the greatest man-made wonders of the world reaches its conclusion, I hope you're feeling inspired and amazed. These wonders are more than simply stone and steel structures. They are testaments to humanity's immense potential. These structures not only showcase the capabilities of human intellect and skill, but also serve as lasting testaments to the creativity and perseverance that have driven civilizations throughout history. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it entertaining. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell for more entertaining videos like this. Thanks for watching.